So taking into account the global planetary challenges that we're facing, why do you think uh, social innovation examples like Transition Towns Movement and others, they are important? Why is it important to build local uh, resilience? Mm -hmm. well, I think that at the local level, you really that's where you show what's possible. That's where you inspire people, you engage people, that you, you know, you really, um, it's, it is the, the testing grounds for transformations um, in action. And while you can have these very theoretical discussions of big, large scale transformations, it's really where, you know, by doing and by showing and by, you know, um, and spreading. And, and just as I was talking about how the individual and the collective is once that, that one transition, tra and as you see, it, it spreads all over the place. And it's um, the ideas, they're not necessarily replicated exactly but it takes up and it so it's it, it creates almost like a um, like a fractal that can then you know be showing up all over the place so it really is on the ground where we're you know like it's starting with ourselves our how you know our families our communities and then you know as we widen our circle of you know our of influence we see that it matters Karen, Karen you were mentioning the individual scale also mm -hmm. uh, in our work we have realized, and you were mentioning this also mm -hmm. before, how important is all this uh, uh, inner side of the mm -hmm. transformation, also mm -hmm. in our values, our s stories. Mm -hmm. and so, I don't know, what could you tell us about why it's important to work the inner mm, transformation? Mm -hmm. Well, I think you know, transformation from the inside out or adaptation from the inside out is just as important as working out there in the world, and they are so related. And often it gets to like how, you know, because the more you work on the inside, the more you can relate to a wider group of people. You It gives you a much more tolerance for change and much more reflexivity on the whole process, and you start to see, um, you know, it gives you more awareness of what the patterns are and what patterns might need to be changed, what facts, you know, what what needs to be resilient and what actually doesn't need to be resilient anymore. So, so that inner work, I think, is part, especially because the problems we're facing are really, um, you know, Oof. quite severe. Yeah. And I think that it would be very easy just to, to if you're overwhelmed, you just um, you drop off and you just give up and hide instead of actually doing something that is contributing to the bigger change. And the last and quick question. Um, because we are living in a culture of separation, mm -hmm. uh, this is also, I mean, this, you can see this in many different uh, dimensions, mm -hmm. levels, scales, and this it happens also between academia or mm -hmm. research mm -hmm. and, uh, I mean, and, and communities mm -hmm. and, and social transformation on the ground. Mm -hmm. So how do you think we could build bridges and work together uh, mm -hmm for the change we need yeah. in, in the planet. Yeah, that's what my current research is on, adaptation <laughs> connects. How do we connect, um, you know, what, what's the role of, you know, art, travel, education, and um, coffee, <laughs> you know, things like, yeah. you know, how do we connect on those levels? But I think that the, at that deeper level, you know, that it goes into those paradigms. And um, one of my research projects is on quantum social um, change. Mm -hmm, wow. You know, how do we actually, you know, use quantum as a metaphor and as a methodology and in terms of giving meaning to people in systems and things and so I so I think it really is that change of perspective that will um, you know help people to connect more and more and yeah uh, people are connecting well, that's so, that's perfect thank you so much yeah, thank you.